cricket teas every Saturday. I helped Mrs. Rogers, the guide captain. <laughs> there was a nine hole golf course on the common, I think for a fairly short time. I can just about remember. Yes. It came and went. Yes. But other people would know more about that. And I think commoners um, use their fishing and shooting rights much more than they do now. As you said earlier, there wasn't so much else to do, was there? No. And all these other attractions. And it, I mean, it was food for the larder. Mm. Um, People didn't rush about in motor cars. That's right, that's right. And then Neats had um, an auction market in the corn exchange with produce and you know, plants and flowers and milk. Well, yes. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. And and Wednesday was always market day. Wasn't yes, it? and livestock was outside at the back where the car parks are now. Poultry and rabbits and so on. And then they moved to where the um, meat salons and church street. And the next next to the fire station. That was once a month. That's not a big set. Oh, that was furniture. Right, I'm so talking that's about one smart, it? Yes, but I'm talking about the um, produce. They, that also moved there. Because the, um, the livestock was outside. They were very real features in my very days. Mm. Very I'm exciting. sorry, it's closed. Oh, they were very good. We had one in Wakingham until the middle of the 1950s. Mm. Was the, they tried to revive it an auction sale in the Ecoy Exchange uh, not so long ago, perhaps 10 years ago. Yes. But, but gradually it seemed to die out because it, it became a place just for selling uh, garden produce by dealers rather than small mm. people. And you could go in there and buy three or four dozen eggs if you wanted to do it, that sort of thing. And gradually it dropped down and uh, closed completely. Mm. So often they're taken over by dealers. Yes. Yeah. So Thursday was early closing day, and that really meant early closing day. Mm. Um, people used to go to Newbury Market on mm. Thursdays. Cattle market and otherwise. Yes. But to me, early closing day was tripped around the street in the wagonette <laughs> to see relatives in Round Street. That must have taken quite a time. Can't remember. I have a photograph of it somewhere. Um, but, uh, it was exciting as far as well, well, children were concerned. Yeah, it certainly used to go to the market in the wagon. Oh, I did. Go under the seat or something for cars. With nets covered over them. Oh, the fire bell. Well, still is. There's a little wooden. Case, isn't it? I'm sure it's clean. There's a, the fire bell is still rung on the Friday after Tattydale to summon the office holders to the court leet. Mm -hmm. That's music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I love to hear it. Prior to the installation of electric bells in the fireman's houses, the only way of knowing was the fire was that bell rang. Oh, the bell. And the rope used to come down over the front of the wooden box in the first chapter. Is that the same one that they had at the fireplace before? Oh no, they no, didn't no. have one there. This was That's there. not the fire station, that's the fire bell. Oh, the fire bell. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. And then, of course, for a period, they used to use the siren as well after the war. Yes. But then uh, the bells were installed in the houses. Now they've been replaced by the Yes. But our volunteer fire brigade went to a lot of south coast towns during the Blitz on an open engine and in freezing condition, really. Mm. Um, you know, I think they did a marvellous job and you think that they were really all volunteers. Yes. My mother was in the fire service. Yes. Really? Yeah. Well, when they bought the fire engine, then they, uh, they had solid tyres on and all that sort of thing. But the chap that ran the garage here a few years later managed to 
fit it up with pneumatic tires that completely transformed it. Yeah. And this was the one which the volunteers were still using in throughout the war, or Second World War. Yeah. And meanwhile, the old steam propelled fire engine mm -hmm. stood to a couple of times in the 1418 war when Zeppelins were in the area. Yeah. And we had metal spares. They were really great days because all the caravans and engines were all in the high street, the roundabouts, the aeroplanes, everything, coconut shies were in the high street. So you had you had some maypole excitement, May Day, May Day. Then you had Whitson Sports. Yes. And then you had Michaelmas. Yes, and we had the yes. football on Easter Monday. And the Michaelmas Fairs, there were two in October, the Wednesday before the 11th and the Wednesday after. The first one was the big one. But you see, Marlborough still have their fair, and we don't, which um, I regret. Mm. Well, that's probably a police decision. We weren't allowed to use the high street. Mm. And there's still a fair at Newbury. Um, and there always was a Michaelmas Fair there as well. I think, you know, the fair people did the round of yes. the Michaelmas Fairs. Yes. They would all have been in this area. And we had carnivals, which were much bigger processions than they are now. You know, there would have been several fire engines, and they all had their brass helmets, of which there are no more. Um, houses were decorated. Oh, yes, prizes for that. Floats and things, would you? Yes. Decorated floats. A lot to enjoy, didn't it? But you can understand now, I mean, if they closed this road because of a, a fair, traffic would be chaotic, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. I know, I know. Those are fairy lights. We had um, wooden frame in here, and they had little night lights in them. Oh, yes. And they were all strung across the water, um, down by the forge Which and around the war memorial. Again, the fire brigade did that. That was their... So we got a couple of hundred of those. Donald, would you mind? <laughs> it's selling next door. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, we can scrub that. It'll probably all be scrubbed once it's transpired, it'll all be scrubbed. Good. <laughs> no. We didn't finish a little bit about the common. Didn't I? No, hard to discuss. Come on, the common. I can't remember. What was I going to talk about? Well, the... Uh... Oh! Got it. You'll have to scrap this.